Ed Wood Jr. was known for his low-budget science fiction horror cowboy films in the 1950s. Now, the, re the movie Real Cowboys and Aliens is premiering at Heldorado Days in Tombstone in his honor. The star of the film, Jerry Brewer, and actor and producer, David Kalish, are here to tell us all about the film. How are you doing, gents? Not too bad, not yeah, too bad. I'm so glad you came to join us today. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, I even cleaned up for the event. You yeah, did. you're looking uh, a little rough. Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> you know, you got to clean up when you come to do something like this, you know. Well, you look fantastic. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so tell us about the film. I mean, what brought, what was the vision here? What inspired it? Okay, uh, sounds weird. I had a dream, came to me in a dream. There was Ed Wood. He was dressed as a woman at, at that time of that dream. Mm -hmm. uh, and he didn't tell me anything other he showed me a poster because that's all he did first poster then he would write the script maybe <laughs> and uh from that we were going to make a movie 20 minutes long it's now runs uh what about 148 minutes yeah wow and uh we had no script it was a lot easier working with people uh, like for instance you mm -hmm. you're not an actor i would just give you a situation you would do it Take, that's it. We wow. don't want to waste any film. Of course. Well, it's more genuine that way, too, I feel. Well, true. The, and, and you're Jewish, like, you, the, with <laughs> this broken, shoe, <laughs> broken shoestring uh, meant we didn't have much money. Right. Uh, so that uh, we had 143 people to come to the casting call. Uh, I convinced Jerry Brewer, who's a pro, to help me out. He's been in, what, 35 movies? Yeah. Indiana Jones. He, in Indiana Jones, he handled the snakes, right? I choreographed all the snakes that were in the snake scene when he looked down. Oh, my God. And uh, actually, uh, uh, they, they wanted 400 black snakes. And uh, we went with uh, rubber snakes and uh, legless lizards. Hmm. And also, we uh, had uh, people bring their pets. You know, we had boa wow. constrictors and pythons. And, that's huge. Yeah. He's also been in a movie with uh, Bo Derek. Yeah, I he played, played her boyfriend. I was her. Can you I believe was, that? You, you played Bo's Bo. I yes. played. <laughs> well played. The, the name of the movie is California Dreaming. Uh, it's an Italian movie, but it's you don't even have to understand Italian. Mm -hmm. It's funny, funny as hell. <laughs> <laughs> he played with the snakes. Well, and, it's Italian, sure. And, and Bo oh, Derek yeah. and Bo Derek he played with. And I so like. Would you consider him the star? Are you the star? Of he is the star yeah. of the movie. He plays the uh, Turco, Paco, the uh, Tombstone Bandito. He also plays his brothers. He's got twin brothers, Billy, Willie, and then Turco. And then I also played uh, one of the zombies. And I was also a border patrol agent. So it ended up that uh, I had uh, seven different characters. So. Wow. So you're the star of the show. I mean, you are the whole show. So is the movie, would you say, would you say it's any good? <laughs> we try to make it uh, like Ed Wood would. Wood? Woody Wood. Uh, actually, it's better than an Ed Wood film. Uh, and, and we were working with so many amateurs from Cochise County. And I, are you showing that footage now on the TV? We well, are, yeah. They, our viewers it's, it's see awesome that. Uh, this, these people, you... 98% you'd think are pros. Mm -hmm. uh, well, and I, and I think, you know, for it to come to you in a dream and for you to listen to that, I mean, I'm, I'm one of those people who, if I get something that comes to me that way, I will listen to it. So you, you really followed your, your heart in that. And the other thing is, uh, with the releasing of this movie, mm -hmm. I said, I want to share this with the Wounded Warriors, the Gary right. Sinise uh, Foundation, Boots for Troops, so when we sell our ticket for the eight bucks, half that money goes wow. to, and if anybody wants to buy a poster, uh, we, we're, we're and, gonna, that money is going to be going to. And you both are of military background. Right? And I'm, yeah, we're both military. Uh, I'm uh, a disabled uh, combat vet from Vietnam, and uh, David here is just disabled. <laughs> but, for, uh, but for you guys to switch and civil gears war to too. Yeah. So, so no. So creative, guys. <laughs> I mean, before Truly. we have to wrap up, I'd love to hear what type of genre is this movie? Okay, aliens from the future. Uh, trying to go back to 2008 to do some changing in the government. They go to 1880 instead, <laughs> and that's where the uh, 
there's a big mix yeah. up and uh, they right. know they're wrong wow. and they uh, I can't you, you don't know, want to give away too much. It's a little bit of Mel Brooks, Blazing Saddle, Space Balls, and, and all the total insanity you can think of. And, uh, well, I gentlemen, mean, you had me at Mel Brooks. Yeah, we, me have to, we have to wrap up, but thank you so yeah. much for joining us awesome. this morning and yeah. telling us about this. Where's the playing? You're welcome. Well, well I'm going to tell them right now. Okay. The Real Cowboys and Aliens premieres at Hal Dorado Days in Tombstone on Saturday, October 18th at 7.30 p.m. Airs again on, the, on October 19th at 4.30 p.m. in the Sheafield Hall. Tickets are $8 each. Like you said earlier, half the ticket price is going to the Wounded Warriors Project, the Gary Sinise Foundation, and Boots for Troops. And after